One day after announcing his plans not to run for a second term, Senator Mike Johans received a warm reception in North Platte. While speaking at a community coffee event at North Platte Community College's South Campus, he provided the capacity crowd on hand with an update on activity in the U.S. Senate, including the upcoming side effects of the sequester budget on March 1st. $1.2 trillion as a percentage of $35 trillion worth of spending is a very, very small amount of money, and it doesn't even come close to solving our fiscal problems. But the Obama administration doesn't want it. They don't like to cut spending, and I think you're just going to see these kinds of things come out. After recently proposing a bill that would prohibit the sale and distribution of guns and ammunition from the U.S. to Egypt, the relationship between the countries was also raised. We're all trying to figure out where are they at, what's happening, is this a government that can be friendly toward the United States? We don't want to run Egypt, that's for sure, but we, we want to have somebody we can work with, and so you're seeing this debate go back and forth on what to do about the spending. He also fielded a question about the upcoming vote for his friend and colleague, former Nebraska Senator Chuck Chuck Hagel for Secretary of Defense. Uh, he needs 60 votes, uh, but every indication is that he'll get those 60 votes, and uh, oh, sure. then I'm going to guess he'll. Then he needs a majority vote, and I'm going to guess he'll easily uh, overcome that and be confirmed as Secretary of Defense. The crowd thanked him for his service to the country and everything he's done for them as he prepares to live a life beyond politics. I tell people a couple of things. One is that it has nothing to do with my health. My health is wonderful. I'm very, very blessed. Um, and secondly, it has nothing to do with a big job waiting out there because th there isn't. I have no idea what will come up next. Ross Ferguson, News 2.